Hi everyone, and welcome back to the series From Ashes to a New Beginning, written by yours truly, Stacey Holt. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art on Instagram, otherwise known as Maddie Kitty 1997 on DeviantArt. I'll leave her links below. I highly recommend you go check out her artwork. I'll also leave everyone that is collaborating within this chapter, which are Shane will be voicing Cat Noir and Adrian, Kenna will be voicing Plague, Maddie Kitty will be voicing Kagami, Angel Gamer 34 will be voicing the cashier, and I'll be voicing Marinette, Ladybug, and the narrator. Now, Chapter 22, Their First Day. I, I didn't want your hair to get in your mouth, so I was getting it out of your face. He smiled nervously. Liar. She rolled her eyes and looked up slightly, seeing Plague laying on the pillow above her sleeping soundly. Marinette smiled and turned back to Adrian and just stared at him with a warm smile, which gave him a warm, fuzzy feeling, causing him to relax. So how did the day go? Did you score any bases? She teased, yawning. If, if anything, he scored the most. He bought my dinner. Adrian laughed, causing Marinette to laugh back. Marinette took a deep breath and got up the courage to scoot closer, letting the darkness hide her insecurities and red in face as she snuggled closer. Adrian felt her lay her head under his chin, letting it lay on his chest like she used to do when he was Cat Noir. He smiled, closing his eyes, breathing out as he wrapped his arms around her back. Marinette could tell Adrian was just as nervous because she could hear his heart beating. They both started to relax after a few seconds. After mentally having to force himself to realize that this was their boyfriend and girlfriend, he pulled the blanket around her and felt her back rising and falling slowly, drift him into unconsciousness. The next morning, he slowly opened his eyes to the shining light coming through the window and looked around for Marinette after noticing she wasn't in bed with him anymore. He scanned the room and noticed a plate on the side table with a croissant and a cup of orange juice. He smiled and took it, taking a bite of it as he stood up. He walked to the middle of the room, looking for a change of clothes while taking another bite when he heard the water running in the bathroom. Shower. She was taking a shower. Of course. It was her first day back at the studio. Adrian finished his croissant and put his fresh new clothes on and combed his hair, then walked over and drank his orange juice. He heard the bathroom door open soon after and turned his head to look at the bathroom. She had her fresh clothes on and had her hair down, which was surprising but still took his breath away. She noticed him staring and her face went red. Should I put my hair up? Does it look bad? She said, a little self-conscious. No. It looks great. He smiled, his cheeks starting to turn pink. She smiled and laughed, but regardless, she brought some hair ties and put them into her purse, just in case. She was having to work today. She didn't want to be designing and her hair get in her way. Have you eaten? He asked. Yeah, did you eat when I left you? She asked, slipping her shoes on. Yeah, I did. He replied. Are you still hungry? It was only one croissant. She giggled. Are you implying that we get something on the way? He laughed. Mm, maybe a coffee? She laughed with him, seeing him go toward the bedroom door to leave. She quickly grabbed her things and ran after him, seeing him open the door for her and kissed his cheek as she passed. She walked down the steps, trying to remain calm and collect her composure so her parents wouldn't figure out that she was dating him. He followed close behind her, and they walked down the stairs and out the door they went until they made it to the car. He was planning on opening the car door for her, but she opened it for herself, smiling at him confidently as she got in and closed it behind her. He laughed and walked around the car and got in the driver's seat and put the key in and then started the car. You know, I could open the car door for you. He smiled. Yeah, I know. I can't let you do everything for me, though. Wouldn't that be showing favoritism? She rolled her eyes. Favoritism? He asked, confused. You're my boss, aren't you? She smirked. His eyes widened, and he hadn't thought about it like that until just now. She was right. He was her boss. Was driving her personally to work too personal? Should they drive separately? Should he buy her her own car? Should they not live together anymore? He 
liked her living with him. Are you okay? She asked, seeing his worried face. You're not leaving, are you? He asked, a little more panic in his voice than he would have liked. What? what She asked with a slight giggle. I, I mean, is favoritism, like, us driving together to work? Us living together? He asked, pulling into the drive through of the coffee shop. Adrian, I think you took the joke a little too far. Calm down. I, I was teasing. She smiled, booping his nose. My house burning down was on the news. You're a kind person, and everyone knows that. I'm sure... Everyone knows you're doing this out of the kindness of your heart. She smiled, seeing his face start to relax. Here, I'll even buy my own drink. Marinette laughed, handing him a few dollars. What? No. He insisted, pushing away her money. Yes, Marinette said, pushing the money back toward him. Marinette, no. I said I would pay for it. He insisted again. Marinette put her dollars back into her wallet and instead pulled out her debit card. If he wouldn't let her pay for her drinks, fine, she would pay for hers and his. Hi, may I take your order? The polite cashier said over the speaker. Hi, uh, can I get a medium double chocolate chip frappuccino and a medium mocha frapp? He said into the intercom, hearing the attendant telling them to pull forward. As they finally pulled around to pay for the drinks, the cashier opened the window with a smile, but stopped when she saw both Marinette and Adrian both handing her cards, both struggling over one another. They both had their cards extended toward her, making the cashier feel a little uncomfortable and uncertain about which card to take. Uh, that will be seven euro? The cashier said politely smiling. Adrian smiled politely at the cashier and quickly grabbed Marinette's card away and handed the cashier his card to pay for both coffees instead. Hey! Marinette pouted. Hush you. You need to save money for the apartment. He said, handing back her card. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Marinette gave in, putting her card back into her purse, smiling down at Tiki as Tiki quietly snickered to herself. Adrian took his card back from the cashier and pulled up to the next window. He got their drinks and gave them to Marinette, who put them in the cup holders. A double chocolate chip frappe? Does that even have coffee in it? Marinette laughed. No, but it tastes amazing. He smiled. It's a coffee shop, Adrian! Marinette laughed. It still has frappuccino in the name. It counts. He laughed. I can't believe I couldn't tell you were Cat Noir. You two are so similar. She smiled, looking out the window, smiling to herself. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. He smirked. Adrian and Marinette pulled up to the company a little while later. He grabbed their drinks and stepped out of the car, smiling at Marinette. Marinette stepped out of the car and walked over to Adrian, a little nervous, and took her drink from him. Thank you. She smiled. No problem, princess. He winked, causing her to almost choke on her drink that she was sipping on. After she caught her breath and wiped her mouth from the drink residue, she glanced back at his car. What's the matter? He asked. My studio equipment. Should we get it out? Marinette asked. We need to go inside and clock in first. I'll get someone to bring it inside for you. She nodded and walked inside with him, following him to his office. He closed the door behind her and she once again sat in the chair in front of his desk, patiently waiting. This is your login information that you'll be using he said, handing her a piece of paper. Marina took the piece of paper and looked down at her username and password. Instantly, a bright pink blush spread across her face. The username was Princess, while the password was I Love Cat Noir. She instantly looked back up at Adrian, who was smiling to himself as he typed on his computer, his cheeks also forming a slight blush. This isn't funny, she pouted. It's all right, it's only temporary. You can change it after you clock in the first time. He smiled. Marinette smiled and stuck the paper in her pocket and stood up from her seat, getting ready to leave. Oh, Marinette, uh, Miss Dupain Cheng, you can clock in on one of the computers outside my office, and I have already sent an email out for the equipment to be taken to your studio. He said, standing up from his desk. Thank you, Mr. Agrest. Marinette smiled, closing the door behind her. 
Adrian sat down in his seat with a smile and a huff as he watched the door close. Plag floated out of his pocket and looked up at him. Kid, why are you smiling like that? This is going well, Plag. She's gonna stay. We're working together and eventually we're gonna live together. She knows that I'm Cat Noir, so I finally have someone to talk about it with. Adrian smiled. Yeah? What about Hawk Moth? Plag huffed. What about him? Akumatizations have been happening less and less. He's probably old and given up by now. Adrian laughed. Just don't let your guard down. Plag grumbled. I won't. Now hide before someone sees you. Adrian rolled his eyes, opening his jacket. Plag groaned and flew into his jacket, and all of a sudden, Adrian heard his office door open. Did you forget something, Prince? His voice went quiet when he realized it wasn't Marinette. Instead, it was Kagami. Were you about to call me Princess? She asked, seeing him obviously uncomfortable. Uh, no? He said, unsure of the answer himself. Anyways, Adrian, here are the new designs for my department. Kagami said, walking over and laying down some paperwork in front of him. Adrian saw Kagami lay the paperwork down and was about to leave, but for some reason, Luca's words echoed through his mind. He stood up and gripped her hand, causing her to turn around stunned at the sudden touch. Adrian, she sternly said. S sorry I was just wanting to get your attention before you left, he said, sitting back down. Kagami looked at him confused and saw him sigh and breathed out. She thought for a moment and then took a seat in front of him, crossing her legs. Adrian turned and looked at her. He realized that Kagami worked with him, but he always tried to avoid her if he could. He always felt like their breakup ended rather harshly and didn't want things to be awkward, though they still were. He had no idea why she even wanted a job in the designing industry, though he wouldn't ask. To be honest, he had nothing to do with the hiring process at all. He only had a voice in Marinette's hiring process because he talked to his father. Everyone else either simply applied or was just fit for the job. Did you need something, Adrian? Kagami asked. Adrian looked at her, remaining quiet. Should he ask her about their breakup? Should he ask her about what Luca said? Was that appropriate? Especially in the workplace. He swallowed, trying to collect his thoughts. Kagami? Would it be appropriate to ask you about the past here, or would you like to text and meet up? I would like to talk about it sometime. Adrian began. The past? I don't think here would be the best place, but sure. I would love to. Here's my number. Go ahead and text me. You changed your number, didn't you? Kagami smiled. I... Uh, all right? He said confused while taking the piece of paper that Kagami had written on it and pulled out his phone. He texted the number and saw Kagami's phone light up after sending the text. I got your message. I'll see you around, Adrian. Kagami said, standing up and walking out while smiling. Plag? Did I... Did I give her the wrong impression? Adrian said, confused. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you can go check out some of my other videos. I like Thunderstorms, which is Season 1, Downpour, which is Season 2 of Thunderstorms, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, and so on. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!